Since the early 1970s, the words Ad Altiora Tendo have been proudly displayed on the blazers of Hazelhead Academy pupils. As generation after generation of young people have been encouraged to strive towards greater things, the career opportunities available to them locally, nationally and internationally have grown beyond imagination. Today, more than ever before in a constantly evolving global economy, young people need to complement their academic achievements with a highly developed set of key employability skills. That is why we've developed the Catapults Initiative. Hazelhead Academy catapults you to success. My name is Fiona Stalker. I'm currently a news reporter and presenter at BBC Scotland and I'm an ex-pupil at Hazelhead Academy. Hello, my name is Stuart Armstrong and I'm currently a professional football player for Celtic FC and an ex-pupil at Hazelhead Academy. My name is Graham Dale and I'm the Senior Development Manager for Young People for Sport Aberdeen and I'm an ex-pupil of Hazelhead Academy. My name is Rachel Corsi and I'm a professional footballer for Seattle Rain FC in the United States of America. I'm also an ex-pupil of Hazelhead Academy. My name is Jonathan Vickers and I'm an actor. I'm currently appearing as Frankie Valley in the international tour of the musical Jersey Boys and I'm also a YouTuber who runs the YouTube channel I Read Books in Nightclubs which last year won me the award of Small YouTuber of the Year. I am also an ex-pupil of Hazelhead Academy. But what exactly does catapults stand for? Communication and literacy. I can communicate effectively by listening, speaking, writing, reading, questioning and interpreting information. Achievement and attainment. I can build up a portfolio of qualifications and record my successes in a range of areas. Technology and digital literacy. I can demonstrate awareness of new IT developments and use modern technology. Attitude. I can be positive, resilient, reliable, respectful, confident, ambitious and inclusive. Problem solving and decision making. I can face challenges, prioritise tasks, and make effective choices and decisions. Utilise experiences. I can use experiences from inside and out with school to build up my employability skills. Leadership. I can take initiative, organise, support others, motivate others, delegate tasks to others. Teamwork. I can cooperate, negotiate, contribute, and build relationships with others. Self-management. I can organise, plan, show good attendance, be punctual and look after my health and well-being. But how exactly can these skills be applied in the workplace? To be successful in my career, I've developed many employability skills. For example, right at the heart of my job is communication. I have to tell stories in an accurate, engaging and impartial way to audiences across TV, across radio and online. Teamwork is also at the heart of what I do. When a big story breaks, working with colleagues often in very stressful situations and tight deadlines is essential. And knowing each other's strengths and working together often brings about the best in journalists. And I love that part of the job. To be successful in my career, I've developed many employability skills. Included within this would be leadership. I manage a team of 11 active schools coordinators in my role. Uh, I believe in a collaborative approach to leadership. I do not have to be the best at everything. I do not have to have the most knowledge, um, but I need to listen to those within my team. Uh, I need to support and to guide them, and that's the way that we get the best results. So it's not all about me as a leader. It's about what I can give to my team, and then we can get the results that we want to. First important employability skill would be attitude in order to fulfill my potential and get the best out of my own abilities when I'm approaching training and games and also an important factor to my career is, is teamwork in order to make a group of talented individuals come together for an even better team. Leadership. I've had the opportunity to be captain of a number of club teams and most recently was announced Scotland captain this year. This is something I'm extremely proud of and the responsibility that comes with that leadership is something that I thoroughly enjoy. Self-management. This is something that is fundamental to what I do. I'm often in the public eye and I'm deemed to be a role model to others around me. You also never know who's watching you and who can give you the next opportunity. It's imperative that you give yourself the best opportunity at all times and you respect one another and aware of your surroundings. 
To be successful in my career, I have had to develop many employability skills. One such example would be communication and literacy. Being able to communicate effectively is a very important part of acting. If you can't communicate how you feel and your intentions, you won't be a particularly good actor. So that's a skill I've definitely had to develop. Exactly the same rule applies for YouTube. If you want to create effective videos for a platform such as YouTube, you have to learn to communicate with your audience. When it comes to working in theatre, attitude is incredibly important. The performing arts industry is a relatively small one. If you turn up for work and you're not a particularly pleasant person to work with, you'll find it hard to find work in the business again. Therefore, developing a good attitude for the workplace is essential. And finally, a few thoughts to take away with you. Always be curious. Never, ever be afraid to ask questions. And when one door closes, go and find another one to open. To get success, if you're ambitious, if you want to move up in organisations, if you want to really develop your career, it will not happen overnight and you've got to start somewhere and you've got to put the work in. If you're willing to put in the work, then you can definitely reach wherever you want to go. If I could give you one piece of advice about careers, it would be to embrace change. Although at times this is often scary and not how we plan things to go, it's often a doorway to more success and something that can be great for us. Nothing worth having is ever easy to get. If you really want to achieve something, the best thing you can do is prepare yourself for that. Putting in the extra work now will really benefit you in the long run. Hazelhead Academy catapults you to success.